haven't vlogged for so long so yeah apologies because i'm kind of changed the video so i haven't vlogged as much as i used to but welcome back to the vlog series this is our cruise vlog series so it will literally just be this and then i'll be back to the other types of videos i now do but i thought i'd take you along on this cruise so we're running a bit late we're waiting for the uber that is turning up and i will show you what it's like when we get there because we're gonna be late otherwise so let's go <laughs> so big it's not even funny so normally i go to this bar literally over there now we're here here we go oh my god <laughs> i'm actually really nervous why am i so scared bye see you next week <laughs> so we are in our room the humidity has already mocked my hair up i curled it and straight away the humidity's curled it so hence why i look a bit of a mess but we're in a room it feels more like a hotel room than a cruise room so actually this room is a lot bigger than a disney well the room that we we're on in the disney cruise but i'm wondering if it's because there's less furniture in here maybe it just seems very wide i mean i'm not complaining however i forgot to bring the lanyard which we use on the disney cruise and we've got like little key cards so that's going to be a pain in the butt but never mind we'll find a way to look after them first world problems but yeah i thought i'd show you the room quickly because obviously our luggage isn't here and everything so we are basically staying in a junior suite and we are on floor six level six so i thought i'd show you the room <laughs> so the front door as you come in here it's very modern i think is what i feel like it here as you can see there's lewis say hi Welcome back to the vlog. <laughs> so the bathroom is a lot different to Disney. So you have everything in one room. So you've got a proper bath, shower, and everything. It's very nice actually. And um, lock chain products, very nice. Opposite here, well, opposite we have an actual like walk-in wardrobe. I mean, I don't know who has enough clothes to fill this up on a cruise but you know then you've got a little cupboard area here we've got these which we got when we arrived because we've got the drinks package and then we've got the bed little sofa area and you have just the one tv here i'm assuming does it move out i reckon it must do, do not open your it does good times and you get the cruise planner thing here which i'm guessing this is which is similar to the one on Disney. And then the balcony. Oh gosh, how do I do it? Open, up, up means open. Yes. Here is the balcony. They're talking. I don't know what about, but I can't hear it. So here's the balcony guys. It's quite a big balcony, very wide as well. So yeah, this was a bit more money than the regular room, but for the space you get, and like also perks wise, you have perks wise you have a separate check-in, uh, so that's super speedy and everything. So you have your own check-in line. So they already check you in before you do your hand luggage. So you're pretty much as soon as you've done that, you're ready to get on board. Whereas the other rooms have to do the cases and then check-in. So I like the speed of check-in. That was good. So now we're going to explore the ship. So we've just finished the fire drill and we're about to leave in about 20 minutes time however first we need a drink before we leave and we're going to check out the English pub, Irish pub, whatever it is. It's so flipping busy. Look at all these people. It's very overwhelming. <laughs> people just go straight for the food. Oh look there you go that's where we can get our drinks. So we got a refillable mug like one of these which I don't know if I showed you but you can go to like the coke stations like they have in the parks and then you just refill them in there. So winner winner. Is it open? It's open. Let's go. Irish bar. Let's get so this is the inside of the pub. There's literally no one in here. Clearly you've picked a good time to come. And they also have TV which has got football on. So hopefully we're here for the Champions League final, so that will be on. And here is the menu. Cocktails, beer. I'll explain all the drinks package to you once I actually understand it myself. But yeah. So whilst it's quiet and I have two seconds to show you, this is the Royal Theatre, which is like where they do all the West End shows. It says they've got Grease in here. I don't actually know if there's any other shows because I literally have no idea what's going on. 
I will learn over the week but as you can see it goes really far back down here but I just thought whilst we've got like a quiet two minutes and I'm sure we won't ever be able to show you this again for the rest of the trip this is the Royal Theatre the whole point of this vlog is to give you guys an insight to like a different type of cruise other than just Disney because that's the only one we've showed you so far and also just bring you along on our holiday but also an informative video <laughs> but yeah this is the Royal Theatre if it, I'm not sure if this is the only one though and it, and look at these up here this is so cool Lewis is waving they're like high top tables there's one here there is another one there and I don't know if that's the same but they've got like high top seats and like a high table and all of the seats have like little cup holders as well so yeah cool we're gonna go watch the send away party now say bye oh my drink oh no oh here you go here's my drink in the cup holder So we've now found the Flow Rider, which is like, well actually this whole section is a sports deck, so behind this is a basketball court, over there is mini golf I think. And then here is the, well how do you pronounce that, Absis? Absis? Which is like a slide and you go in like the um, the bags to slide down. But this is the Flow Rider. And this is free, I think. They have lessons, I don't know how much it costs. I'll find out and I'll comment down below. But drink of the day is the Bahama Mama. So this is me and this is not me. <laughs> show you all my outfits I've brought literally I've bought brand new outfits for this whole cruise but they're all from like Forever 21 so nothing has cost much at all I think this dress was like $14 and it's literally just a shirt dress but I like the arms so this is a very me outfit I think I showed it in the April favorite and I'll link that somewhere but we are going to dinner at the Coastal Kitchen which is a restaurant just for sweet guests and the rest and the dress code says formal so i'm hoping this is okay we're gonna go check now our dinner is at eight and it's currently seven o'clock so we're gonna go check that lewis is actually wearing shorts so we're gonna check that obviously we can wear that and if not we'll be back to change but i'm hoping that we're okay because it's the first night and you know you don't want to like peak too early on a cruise so i'm hoping that today's outfit's gonna be okay and yeah one thing that we have noticed from this trip compared to a disney cruise is you cannot feel the boat at all you can't feel any movement or anything and we are low down like we're on deck six and normally we're on like deck 12 13 and you cannot feel like any movement or anything so that is one thing i don't know if it's because it's a massive ship and you can't really feel it but you definitely cannot feel that you're even on a ship on this so far other than if you like literally sit and look out at the sea so i'm not actually going to speak in this restaurant because it's like sweet guests and i feel like the people in there are going to be super fancy so i will just kind of show you the food and I'll tell you about it afterwards but obviously I'll take you along with you so you can see what it feels like but I keep it very handy what is all this about but anyway let's go for dinner so this is the coastal kitchen restaurant and you're overlooking the pool what is on deck 17 it's very lovely hello <laughs> they've got a bar and sofa areas and this is the menu today but we've just spent a lot of time exploring and finding our feet and everything so tomorrow and the rest of it will be much better 
but we've now come to watch an ice skating show in where is this in a theatre you have to make a reservation however it's very quiet so we managed to be allowed in without having a reservation so we've just got back to the room i apologize that like today's video has been very like bitty there's not been much talking and there's like been more showing you stuff but we have no idea what we're doing and it is super overwhelming if you've never been on a royal caribbean cruise or you've been on a disney and you haven't been on royal caribbean it's like oh my gosh it's mind-blowing so um it's kind of been a learning experience today looking around finding like our bearings working out where stuff is so that's why there's not been much talking however tomorrow we are going to their private island coco k i think it is which is in the bahamas so there i'll show you more tomorrow because it's literally i think we dock at eight but we are going to the gym because we're losers we don't go to the gym when we live at home but when we're on holiday we go to the gym work that one out we're going to go to the gym and then we get off i think at 7 30 and we're there till 4 30 so it's basically their private island in the bahamas we're there all day and then we're back on the ship tomorrow night we've booked dinner because we've bought a three Din three day dinner package basically which means you can eat at which means you can eat at three speciality restaurants over the seven days so we've booked tomorrow night wednesday night and friday so we could kind of stagger it so tomorrow we're eating at wonderland which has been recommended to us by someone on instagram so if you are watching this and you are the person that recommended it i can't remember what your name is and my phone isn't working because we've got no signal but Thank you, we are going there tomorrow. It's included, it's like some weird quirky dining thing. Um, that's what we're doing tomorrow. However, tonight, dinner was amazing. I am stuffed to the broom. The restaurant was insane. Like, we can eat there any night that we want uh, because it's included in our suite, but we can only go there for dinner. We can't, but it's basically open all day if you're in a room level above where we are, but that was a lot more money so we just can eat there for dinner however i would 100 percent go there again the food was amazing i am stuffed um the show was really good had no idea what was going on but i love ice skating so that part of it was fabulous but i didn't really understand the storyline it didn't really flow or have a storyline it was just like about someone finding love however the actual ice skating was really really good and then we just stopped at the bionic bar on the way back and it's just so busy there all the time we went to the one in vegas which i think i told you earlier uh but because it's such a cool unusual thing like it's like bees to honey is that the word <laughs> but there's just thousands of people standing around it so yeah tomorrow we are headed to the island and then we are having dinner at wonderland and i think we're gonna go see greece if we can get a seat so i apologize today hasn't been like super informative and me chatting or anything but it was more about us like working everything out getting our bearings i mean we still have no idea where we're going half the time it's huge and there's so many people but i'm sure we will do a review at the end so thank you so much for watching if you are new around here make sure to hit the subscribe button down below and also make sure to give this video a huge thumbs up and i will see you all next time bye